Let's talk about new technology on the CAT mini hydraulic excavators, 306CR, 308CR and the 309CR. So we're up here in the 308 ease of use machine. Uh, this machine is fitted out with uh, ease of use software for the indicate system and at the moment it is disabled but I'm going to go into the main menu, go into ease of use. Uh, go into the indicate side of it, uh, it's disabled as you can see and I'm going to go in and enable it, hit the home button. Now that we've gone ahead and enabled the ease of use indicate system, you can see the indicate bar in here with a load of different numbers. If I go to the right hand side here you can see the reach. Uh, one of the cool things you can do with this, this will measure the reach but remember we are measuring from the center of the machine, not from the front of the tracks, not to the blade. But if I go out full stretch, about 24 foot, you can see my reach. But if I come back to around about 20 foot, roughly, uh, which is going to be around about there, that's going to be close enough, I can mark the ground right there. And then if I bring the linkage all the way back in, so I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I've got an 8x8 uh, septic system I want to drop into here. And if I put my teeth here to uh, around about 10 foot, there you go, you see 10 foot mark the grounds uh, without getting out and getting a tape measure I can now see from there to here uh, that is 10 foot so as well as giving you all the great features on the ease of use indicator knee fence system this is also one of the best tape measures you'll ever have in your toolbox now as well as sort of being able to mark out and measure what I want for a 10 foot septic system in there or an 8 foot one to fit into a 10 foot trench I can do that now in the middle there you see your bucket angle, this is your attachment angle. If you need to know what degrees you're out or when you're at flat, uh, this bucket will tell you all of that. So we'll go to flat there. And then over here on the left hand side, that is going to be my distance to grade and also my shortcut to benchmarking. You can also see in the middle there I've got my height offset and my target slope. But to start off with, I'm going to come across to one side here to where I'm going to dig my trench. I'm going to place the bu bucket down. I am wanting to dig two foot deep. So I go in and put in two foot. I put in the negative because I'm going down. Now I hit the check mark just to accept it when it goes from yellow to white. I know that I'm now ready to do it. You can see my yellow bars, I'm above grade. You can see my target slope into it. And so now we will go to dig. Now my green is obviously the target I'm trying to get to. Those yellow bars, the tolerances can be adjusted by you as the operator. Uh, depending on how you want to see those yellow bars. You'll also hear I've got tone as well. I can use the tone on or off. Uh, I like to have the tone on when I get on the target. Uh, so, you know, I don't have to look at the monitor. I can just operate by the target. So I've taken the first scoop out there. Remember from the side, left hand side there, we are looking for a two foot deep trench at the end of all of this. Looks like I'm just about a foot at the moment. You can see I'm hearing a few beeps there. That means, okay, I'm getting near my target but then the yellow lights come back up again. And this time I think, you know, we're gonna see a few more lights go down and be a bit more closer. So a little bit deep there, so I'll pull back and I'll just do a pass now. Still a little bit deep, got to take out some more material before I go ahead and clean the trench. Um, but certainly my uh, two foot deep trench is starting to take place. So this pass, I'm just gonna put my teeth in, get my teeth on target. Hear that solid tone? So I know there I've got a pretty good trench there at the moment, but that I'm now going to use from the teeth. I'm just going to go in and put my bucket flat on the trench there. Go up to the head of the trench there. Let's get this one on target this time. So there we are, and like I said, great tape measure once again, you know, putting the bucket here on the side, you know, that was my measure, original bench, I go down, go to my target there in this trench and go and check it, and you see right there, you know, I'm at my target, minus two foot, you see we're on green rear right there. That's the most simplest way to uh, give you an idea how we're going to dig a trench on this. Uh, once you reposition, you just reach back to that last known uh, good piece of trench and sort of carry on trenching. What I'm going to do right now though is to back up a little bit, reposition, 
go blade down right there. I'm going to come and reach into the uh, bottom of the trench where I finish because what I'm going to do at this point there I'm on target I'm going to go in I'm going to take off my bucket offset so we're going to back out of that okay we're going to confirm that as zero hit the home button and you can see on my home button I've got no target I'm now going to go in and put in the target slope now I'm going to put in a sort of crazy number on here I'm, uh, I'm in degrees so I'm going to go ahead and put 20 degrees into this so you are 20 degrees, I'm going to put a negative into that as well because I have the slope coming up towards my machine and I'm going to go ahead and enter that 20 degrees. Okay, you can see on the bottom here I've accepted it, but this is where my trench is going to start from, so I'm going to re-benchmark there my shortcut, you see I'm on target there, and now I'm going to start pulling through, so a little bit deep there to start off with, so let's start bringing it up. So we're on target there. Bring that up. And so from a flat bottom trench, you look into the trench, I now have my slope there at 20 degrees. And once again, I could have free dug that maybe if I thought I was a good operator. And once again, I can use this machine just to go back and say, okay, what is that slope on there? So let's see, I've got 20% dialed in. Uh, that is a 20 degree slope right there. So once again, this is going to be the best tape measure in your toolbox, whether you're free hand digging it and just checking your work, or whether you use the tone and the indicate system on here to dig your trenches, to dig your slopes. This is going to make you so much more efficient, uh, so much more accurate. You're going to do the work first time. You don't have to get out in and out of the machine to measure it. Uh, man, this is a no-brainer. This is going to make me so much better at doing my job, and I can get more jobs done quicker. To learn more about this new technology on the CAT Mini Hydraulic Excavators, contact your local CAT dealer.